They told you there's only one version of you, a single identity walking through time, linear, consistent, predictable. But deep within the quantum field, something whispers a different story. It says that every choice, every emotion, every tiny fluctuation of awareness opens a new dimension of who you are. You are not moving through time. Time is moving through you. Every thought you hold is an observation, collapsing waves of potential into one reality, the one you're living right now. But what about all the other versions? The ones that made a different choice? The ones that felt courageous when you felt fear? They didn't vanish. They still exist, vibrating quietly in the background of infinite possibility, waiting for you to remember them. You are not just one story. You are an entire library of selves. Each moment you're choosing which book to open. You've been taught to believe in continuity, that you are the same person you were yesterday. But the quantum world does not obey such rules. The particles that make up your body are replaced every moment. Your atoms dissolve and reform. Your mind shifts, rewrites, adapts. Continuity is an illusion created by memory. Every second you die as one version and awaken as another. The question is not whether you are changing. The question is, are you choosing how you change? Or are you being changed unconsciously by fear, repetition, and doubt? Every identity you hold on to emits a signal. That signal locks you into a version of reality that mirrors your belief. If you think small, your world shrinks. If you think infinite, your world expands. You are the quantum observer of your own existence, and the universe is your reflection, waiting for your observation to decide what's real. Somewhere, there is a version of you who already lives the life you desire. They walk with certainty, breathe with calm, and create with ease. They are not more talented or lucky. They are simply vibrating at a frequency that matches what you call your dream. The field does not care about worthiness. It responds to resonance. You don't have to chase your higher self. You have to tune into it. When your thoughts, emotions, and actions synchronize with that frequency, the old version of you dissolves like mist in sunlight. This is not imagination. This is quantum mechanics of identity. You do not evolve linearly. You shift dimensionally. When you let go of the version of you who doubts, you collapse into the one who knows. You have always been both. Observation decides which one leads. Reality is not built from matter. It's built from awareness. Matter is the shadow of consciousness slowed down into visibility. You are not inside the universe. The universe is inside your perception. Everything you experience is an echo of your current vibration. That's why when you change internally, your world rearranges externally. The people you meet, the events that occur, the synchronicities that unfold, all are quantum reflections of the frequency you broadcast. When you learn to read these reflections, life stops being random. It becomes precise. The quantum self knows that every moment is feedback. Every emotion, every obstacle, every blessing is data from the field. You are not being punished or rewarded. You are being mirrored. You are watching your own vibration play out as form. Think of your mind as a lens. When it's clouded by fear, guilt, or self-doubt, the quantum field appears chaotic and limited. When the lens clears, when you align with gratitude, coherence, and love, the same field reveals infinite pathways. The field doesn't change. You do.
The version of you that sees no way forward exists beside the version that sees endless opportunity. They are separated not by distance, but by vibration. You can't reach a higher reality by fighting the lower one. You rise by observing differently. You change the signal by changing the observer. That is the secret of the quantum self. The world doesn't shift because you want it to. It shifts because you do. Every thought carries a frequency. Every emotion emits a wave. These waves interact with the field, creating interference patterns that sculpt your experiences. Fear creates distortion. Clarity creates coherence. The moment you become aware of your thoughts, you become the observer instead of the reaction. That act of awareness collapses chaos into order. You literally reprogram your energetic identity. Most people live unconsciously, reacting to reflections of old frequencies. They fight the mirror, never realizing that they are its source. But once you awaken to this, everything changes. The quantum self doesn't fight reflections. It refines the signal. You don't fix the world. You tune your frequency and the world synchronizes. You were never meant to remain one version forever. Growth is quantum by nature. Sudden, discontinuous, unpredictable. There's a reason transformation feels like death. You are collapsing an old waveform of identity. Every I can't dies so I am can be born. The quantum self doesn't seek comfort. It seeks expansion. It knows that each discomfort is the cracking of an old frequency. When life seems to fall apart, it's not punishment, it's recalibration. The field is adjusting you to a new resonance. That's why the chaos before a breakthrough feels unbearable. It's the collapse of the old observer. The moment you stop resisting, the new reality stabilizes. You wake up in a dimension that was always waiting for you. Your body is not separate from this process. It is the instrument of vibration. Your cells listen to your thoughts. Your DNA is an antenna for emotion. When you dwell in fear, your body contracts. When you dwell in love, it expands. This is measurable. Coherence between heart and brain creates electromagnetic harmony that radiates beyond your skin. That harmony is the frequency of the quantum self. You don't just think yourself into a new identity. You feel yourself into one. The signal of your heart is thousands of times stronger than that of your brain. When you align them, the universe must respond. This is not mysticism. It's physics in motion. Look around you. Every object, every person, every sound is made of vibrating energy. And all of it responds to observation. You are not a passive participant. You are a co-creator. When you realize this, responsibility replaces blame. You stop asking, why is this happening to me? And start asking, what am I observing that allows this to exist? That single shift reclaims your power. It moves you from victim to creator. The quantum self doesn't wait for signs. It becomes the sign. It doesn't beg for change. It emits change. Once your observation stabilizes, the field organizes reality to match it effortlessly. Memory is not the past. It's a selection of frequency. When you recall pain, you re-enter its vibration. When you recall gratitude, you enter another timeline where healing already occurred. That's why letting go is not forgetting. It's retuning. Each emotion you revisit is a doorway to a different universe. This is why the quantum self forgives, not out of morality, but out of energetic precision. Forgiveness collapses emotional entanglement. It clears the static that keeps you tuned to an outdated version of yourself. When you release judgment, you unhook from timelines of pain and open portals of freedom. The field can't give you new reality while you're still observing the old one. Every night, when you sleep, 
your consciousness travels across probabilities. Dreams are not random. They are the language of the field translating your vibrational data. The quantum self uses dreams to reorganize timelines. When you awaken, you download the reality that matches your latest state. That's why one good night of surrender can feel like rebirth. You literally wake up in a slightly different universe. The bed, the room, the people, the same shapes, but subtly restructured by your frequency. Life is fluid and you are the current. Reality flows where your focus goes. So where are you focusing right now? Most people focus on lack, fear, and comparison, and wonder why life feels heavy. The quantum self focuses on coherence, gratitude, and expansion, and the universe echoes it back. The field is neutral. It amplifies what you broadcast. Energy doesn't care about your words. It reads your vibration. You can say, I'm fine, but if your frequency vibrates doubt, the field responds to the doubt. Honesty is vibration alignment. Pretending blocks the signal. Feel fully, then shift gently. That's emotional alchemy. The quantum self doesn't suppress feelings. It observes them into higher order. You don't escape the storm. You become still and the storm passes through you. You are multidimensional consciousness in human form. You are the intersection between energy and matter between infinite and finite. The old paradigm said, you are a body that has a soul. The quantum self knows, you are consciousness having a physical experience. This shift reverses the hierarchy. The body becomes the vessel, not the ruler. Time becomes a coordinate, not a prison. Death becomes transition, not ending. Once you know this, fear loses its power. The infinite versions of you are not fantasies. They are parallel expressions of the same consciousness. You can access them through focus, emotion, and imagination. Imagination is not escape, it's access. When you meditate, you detach from linear identity and merge with the field. In that stillness, you stop being a story and become awareness itself. That's when the new reality downloads. You don't get answers. You receive frequencies that later decode as insights, intuition, or synchronicities. The quantum self lives in this state naturally. It walks between worlds, blending action and surrender. It knows that time bends to coherence. It acts when inspired, rests when aligned. It doesn't chase outcomes. It embodies them. This is mastery not of control, but of resonance. When your vibration leads, matter follows. Every challenge you face is an initiation. The universe tests your vibration through contrast. When you stay coherent under pressure, you signal to the field, I am stable. The field responds by expanding your access to reality. The old self reacts. The quantum self responds. Reaction collapses possibilities. Response opens them. That's how timelines split, not in cosmic explosions, but in quiet choices made in moments of awareness. You are doing this every day, with every thought, every breath. You are the architect of infinite realities, sculpting them from consciousness. When you understand this, destiny stops being fate. It becomes choice. Now as you listen to these words, something inside you begins to remember. You can feel the echo of countless versions of yourself vibrating within the same field. The healer, the creator, the one who already succeeded, the one who already forgave. They're not distant. They're here, layered within you, waiting for observation. Breathe, feel the shift. You are not becoming, you are remembering. Every cell in your body is reorganizing around a new signal, the frequency of your true identity. From this moment forward, reality will mirror that frequency. You are the observer, 
the creator, and the creation. The quantum self is awake.